Hello, my name is Suresh Jari and I'm from the Mayo Clinic in Rochester. I've been asked by the uh, editors of Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology to briefly summarize our upcoming uh, paper called Diagnostic Strategy to Distinguish Autoimmune Pancreatitis from Pancreatic Cancer. As you all know, uh, autoimmune pancreatitis is a relatively rare disease, and about 2 to 3 percent of patients who undergo surgery for suspected pancreatic cancer will end up having autoimmune pancreatitis. Uh, so the challenge is how do you distinguish between these two diseases? To achieve this goal, we uh, compared the profiles of uh, 48 patients with autoimmune pancreatitis uh, in our database with 100 patients with pancreatic cancer. Uh, in both groups, we have fairly comprehensive data, including a CT scan at presentation. What we found was that uh, the clinical features really distinct, didn't distinguish between the two diseases. When we looked at the CT scans uh, of the uh, two groups, uh, our radiologist was blinded to the clinical diagnosis, uh, identified uh, features uh, which uh, allowed us to classify the imaging features into uh, one uh, highly suggestive of AIP, number two was indeterminate, and the imaging group three was uh, highly suggestive of pancreatic cancer. The imaging features of pancreatic cancer were a low density mass in the pancreas, a dilated duct with cutoff, or a pancreatic atrophy. The features suggested of AIP were a diffusely enlarged pancreas uh, with allowed a capsule like rim without uh, features suggestive of pancreatic cancer. The indeterminate group had a focal enlargement or a normal appearing pancreas. Now, uh, when we looked at the group which had uh, features highly suggestive of uh, AIP, um, all of them indeed had AIP. But 80% of them also had collateral evidence of AIP, which was uh, reassuring because the, these patients had an elevation in IgG4 and or uh, other organ involvement in the form of uh, proximal valvular strictures, retroperitoneal fibrosis, a salivary gland enlargement, or renal lesions. Our uh, suggestion for patients who have uh, features highly suggestive of pancreatic cancer is that they be treated as pancreatic cancer unless there was strong collateral evidence uh, for AIP in the form of other organ involvement. The same applies to the indeterminate group. These two groups should have a search for cancer, and if the cancer search is negative, then uh, additional collateral evidence of AIP should be sought for, including a IgG4 level twice the upper limit of normal. Uh, which is highly suggestive of AIP. Uh, CA199, uh, more than 150, was highly suggestive of pancreatic cancer when done after decompression of the bile duct. Using CT scan, serum IgG4 levels, and other organ involvement, we could distinguish uh, AIP from pancreatic cancer and diagnose 70% of, uh, of the AIPs. The other 30% required either a core biopsy of the pancreas looking for character histology, um, steroid trial, or, or surgery. The manuscript would give detailed uh, indications for core biopsy and uh, for steroid trial. The caveat of this study is that this requires the clinician, the radiologist, the pathologist, and the surgeon to be familiar with the clinical features of both AIP and pancreatic cancer. Thank you.